Hi, I'm Alice Ford, and this is a Green and Fabulous Special Report. Ford, and this is Green and Fabulous. Sea lions are a symbol of coastal California and can often be spotted from Canada all the way down to Mexico. These lovable creatures with their big brown eyes were made famous in circuses and zoos all around the world and are often seen balancing balls on their nose and clapping their flippers. And to many, these lovable creatures are a symbol of the friendly side of the ocean. In the last several weeks, several marine organizations have reported an over 40% increase in the beachings and deaths of sea lions here in California. I'm here at the Pacific Marine Mammal Center to find out why. I've been a part of Pacific Marine Mammal Center for 19 years. I'm a senior animal care supervisor. So during my days here, I'm in charge of the rehabilitation and the rescue process. You've been here 19 years, that's a long time. Have you ever seen a month like the one you guys just had in January? No, in 2013, we thought that that was a historical year for us. And so far in 2015, being only February 6th, it's already, you know, even more than 2013. And so it looks like this is gonna be another historical year for us. Just how many sea lions do you currently have here? Currently we have 51 in house. And then uh, last year around this time, we had five. And then wow. 2013, we had 36 in house. So you can see why we're concerned at this time. Whether it's a uh, marine professional, a lifeguard, uh, animal control, or anyone else, give us the details: body condition, what the behaviorism is doing, um, where the animal's at, and then um, we're able to, because of technology, kind of see what's going on via cell phone pictures and kind of triage it there. We send a team out, dispatch them out, to take a look at the animal and then bring it back in house. And then the first thing we're gonna work on is their hydration. And then after that, work on the malnutrition portion of it and then slowly start to introduce fish into their diet. So I know some of the predictions were that climate change or possibly El Nino has been causing some of these sea lions to come in sick. Are there any other theories as to why these animals are beaching themselves and also the low birth rates that we've been seeing in the Channel Islands? Yes, for, for the last three years, since 2013, since we started to see the high spike in the sea lion strandings, uh, the Pacific Marine Mammal Center has been working with National Marine Fisheries and other researchers to try to figure out this problem. One of the theories that we came up with in 2013 was that the bait fish of the anchovies and the sardines had moved further offshore due to changes in the wind, um, currents, and ocean temperatures. And this forced the mothers of the sea lions to have to swim twice as far, sometimes three times as far. And it cuts down on the nutrition of the milk that they're giving back to the pup, as well as keeping them further away from the pup for longer periods of time. Now, in 2015, you add El Nino to it and you have a pretty much a perfect storm. It's a mild El Nino, but it's still affecting all of the ocean um, in negative ways and, and moving things around so the sea lions have to search more. And so this year, we're seeing not only the pups that we normally see, but the sub-adults, juveniles, and adults of the sea lions, and mostly females, and they're very underrated as well. So climate change, El Nino, everything has an effect and it's, it's a negative effect right now. So these animals are just having to swim too far to find food. It's, the mothers have to swim too far to find food and then there's no food for the pups to start eating either, close to the shores and they're not, you know, they're not used to having to travel two or three hundred miles to find food. They don't have the stores um, to be able to get out to the fish. In other words, they're too thin. Is any of what we're seeing reversible? And what can we do as people that live on the California coastline to help reverse some of the damages that have been done? Yeah, we can always work towards cleaning up the environment, um, eating less. Um, you know, 
we rely on the oceans a lot, and you know, we're all worried. The sea lions are showing us that, that there are problems out there, um, and we have to try to fix it. So yes, there there are things that people can do. They can conserve water, they can watch what goes down the toilet, they can um, watch what goes down the drains, um, and just help out um, taking care of the environment. I've learned a lot here today at Pacific Marine Mammal Center, and now it's your turn to do your part. Whether it's a donation of Dawn, Pedialyte, or a tax-deductible donation, please do your part in helping this great species. Until next time, I'm Alice Ford. Fabulous.